In this demonstration, we'll see how to perform common management tasks by using the Exchange Management Shell. So the first thing we're going to have a look at here is we're just going to um, get a list of the commands that we can use for mailbox databases. So we'll do that with get hyphen command, hyphen name, and then what we want here is we want star hyphen mailbox database. And what that'll come back is that'll come back with a list of command that we can use for managing mailbox databases. So we can do get hyphen mailbox database, which will get us information relating to the database, new hyphen mailbox database, creates a new database, remove hyphen mailbox database, removes the mailbox database, and set hyphen mailbox database, sets attributes associated with the mailbox database. Next thing we're going to do here through the exchange management shell is we're going to create a new mailbox database for the marketing department. And we're going to do that with the new hyphen mailbox database, hyphen server, we're going to create that on LON EX1, and the name will be marketing. So as you can see now, it's running through the script and that's going to create our database. It's now created the database, it's telling me that I need to restart the information store. I'm not going to do that just yet, so we'll scroll down a bit. What we want to do next is we just want to view the quota settings for the newly created database. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to do a get hyphen mailbox database. And then on marketing, we're then going to pipe that, we're going to format a list and we want to know the name and the prohibit send receive quota. And that comes back with our prohibit send receive quota is 2.3 gigabytes. Next thing we're going to do at this point here is we're going to get the mailbox database copy status on server LON EX1. So that's coming back now that uh, the mailbox databases, we've got two mounted databases, we've got one dismounted database, we don't have any copies in place, index is healthy reason why this one is unknown is currently the database is not mounted. So we'll scroll this down a little bit further. Next thing we're going to do here is step five is we're going to set quota settings on the newly created database. So we're going to set hyphen mailbox database. We're going to do that on the marketing database. And we're going to set the prohibit send receive quota with the hyphen prohibit send receive quota to 20 gigabytes. So as you can see there now, set hasn't returned back any errors so i'm fairly happy that that has worked now that we've set all these settings the next thing to do here is as it says is to mount the new database and then restart the information store so to mount the database we're going to use the mount hyphen database specify marketing as the database and now that's mounted the next thing to do here is just to restart the information store and we're going to do that with restart hyphen service ms exchange is So we've now created the database, we've mounted the database, and we've started the information store. Next thing to do here is just verify the quota settings have actually been configured and the database is mounted. So we'll do that with a get hyphen mailbox database. Then on marketing, we'll pipe that out, we'll format the list, and we'll have name and prohibit send receive quota within the list. And that has returned back the prohibit send receive quota is now set to 20 gig. Next thing to do here is just get the mailbox database copy status, hyphen server, LON EX1, and we should now see that the database is mounted. As you can see here, status is currently mounting, it's still restarting the information store from up above here, even though it's saying it sort of has started it, but we're fairly happy that it is now mounting the database. So what we'll do is we'll just pause the demo video and we'll return back just in a couple of minutes and we'll just run that command again. Right, so we've rerun the command now and as we can see everything's mounted. I'm not really bothered too much about the content index state currently. All I'm bothered about is marketing is mounted and it is healthy. So that's proved that that has actually worked correctly. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to move some mailboxes in the marketing department to the marketing database. And we're going to do that with the get hyphen user. Hyphen recipient type details is going to be user mailbox. We're going to filter that by department is equal to marketing within the braces. Once we've done that query, we're going to pipe that query and we're going to do a new move request. And the target database will become marketing. Now that's going to take a little while to complete. So again, what we'll do is we'll just pause the demonstration and wait for that to complete and return back once the move request has completed. 
So we can see now everything's been queued so the next thing we'll do here is we'll just do a get hyphen move request and we'll just look at the status so we can't see everything's been queued now we'll just see exactly what's happening so this point here we can see we've got 52 currently queued we've got 20 currently in progress so what we need to do here is we need to wait for all of these to complete so again, this is going to take a little while, so all I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to pause the demonstration and return back once the move is complete. And as we can see now, 72 completed, so we've now moved all of these users onto the Mailbox database. And that's the end of this demonstration of managing server configuration by using Exchange Management Shell. Thank you.